solve large intractable problems. It's a new venture altogether. Your brain is a wild horse there. Because remember, writing is not a team sport. You are not selling horse carriages when there are cars. I want to be known only as a trusted advisor. More like a tourist. Play to Potential Podcast. And building on that, David, uh, you've been uh, bringing this to students across 50 years. Um, it's one of those things where it's easy to get it conceptually in the head. Uh, <laughs> in your experience, where uh, you know, what are the common places where people often trip up in bringing this to life in their respective uh, tennis courts? Well, let me first say you're absolutely right. Easier conceptually to get it than to do it. In fact, not infrequently, my wife says to me with exasperation, you teach this stuff, why don't you do it? <laughs> because one of the problems is we all act like, well, when we first of all, we, we protect ourselves. And in protecting ourselves, we try not to be vulnerable. But secondly, we try to understand the other person. So we psych them out. So we so quickly go to make up stories. So if you were to um, do something three times in a row, it sort of natural would be to say, well, what sort of person is Deepak who would do that? Mm -hmm. And then I'm starting to make a story. And as soon as I make a story, I'm going to accuse you of it. Well, Deepak, aren't you doing that just because of blah, 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 blah? And what we forget is the story I make up is my story. Hmm. I don't know it. And not only that, it's unnecessary. Because if I say, gee, I really was hurt when you said that, you're likely to share your attention. You're likely to say, well, I didn't mean that. I was just starting to get impatient and da, 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 da. So I don't have hmm. to make up this story, but we do it so naturally. 